that is Draw Bucket Certified. Welcome back to another episode of Foodie Ants. I'm doing something slightly different today. It's a takeaway night in the residency at Home Sweet Home of Mr. Draw Bucket Certified. So today's review is gonna be a takeaway. I'm gonna go for the famous Pepe's. What are your thoughts on Pepe's? Comment below. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people think it's overpriced. Uh, yeah, a lot of controversial opinions, good and bad. Uh, I always think, yeah, with these sort of places, with these chains, it just depends on your location and, and where it is. I wasn't a big fan of Pepe's, but I've been really enjoying their uh, chicken rice box. I've got a couple of items from Pepe's. We're gonna do a cheeky little review and uh, yeah, let's get munching. So I have plated up my food. I've done a little cheeky little TikTok. If you're not following TikTok, what are you doing? I'm only joking. But yeah, if you do like a bit of the old short format content, make sure you follow me on TikTok. So cameraman, if you just come a bit closer. So this is what I've got. I've got a half chicken. Now bear in mind, I've plated up some of the food. There's still some extra uh, peri peri chips and another piece, a quarter chicken piece. I've ordered a half chicken. I've gone for the hot. I've gone for the famous chicken and rice box. We've got some peri peri chips. I've got the old garlic mayo. And I've gone for the XL burger. Now, because I've gone for the hot for the chicken and the rice box, I've found something different. So I've gone for the barbecue flavor XL um, grilled chicken burger, which looks actually pretty decent. That does. It's a big, big chicken piece. So get your jewel buckets ready. We're about to get munching now. So I'm just gonna get a fork and we're gonna try some of this tasty looking Pepe's. So what are your thoughts on that? That looks actually pretty decent. And the plating up skills, the plate up techers <laughs> look pretty decent, that does. So let's give this a try. So we're gonna start off with the, I'm gonna start off first with the um, peri peri chips. So normally if I get a takeaway order, if you leave it too long with the steam, it does get a bit flimsy, so let, let's try this out. Bismillah, here we go, Pepe's. Not for lie. I normally do like um, the Pepe's uh, Peri Peri chips. On this occasion, I think because I've done a lot of filming, for TikTok and getting a couple of shots for the thumbnail. I had to reheat these, but it's got good potato content. It is fluffy in the inside. I feel like it's lost a bit of that crispiness. I had one or two chips just before I opened it fresh. And it was very crispy. But some of these are a bit too soft. So we're gonna move forward now. I actually have got my eye on this burger, so I'm gonna try this burger now. This is the XL chicken burger, grilled chicken burger. I've gone for the barbecue flavor and let's open up the bonnet. Big piece of chicken. It's got some cheese, a barbecue sauce, and a tiny bit of lettuce. Let's give it a try, bismillah. The chicken is soft and tender, and it is very, very juicy. I like this flowery bap. It's nice and soft on the top. I'm biting into it like a pillow. And yeah, it's pretty decent. Not draw bucket certified for me, but it's okay. It's decent, it is. That one costs five pounds 50. Oh, that's a decent size, that is. That's not too bad. So we're going to move on now. And we're going to try the chicken and rice. The chicken and rice box I've gone for hot. Now, they do actually more spicier, but today I just fancy the hot. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit more spicier, they do have an extreme level. Let's give this a try. This one lot. I 
I absolutely love their chicken and rice. The chicken is nice and spicy. It is grilled really well. The chicken is soft and tender, very juicy. And I get a little bit of a spicy kick now. And I've drizzled a little bit of the garlic mayo and that combination of the garlic mayo, something about the pepe's garlic mayo. It's actually really runny, it is. A bit too watery for my liking, but it complements really well with the rice and chicken. And I'm gonna drop that. That is jewel bucket certified. Bush. So, we're now gonna be moving on now to the half chicken again i've gone for hot as well so let's tuck into this here we go look at that you can see it just looks really really juicy so let's give it a try i would however prefer this a little bit more saucier when i see this on tiktok and everywhere else everyone seems to get it like really really saucy i think mine's a little bit dried up than how it usually should come but let's give it a try so that That is really, really tasty. The chicken is cooked to perfection, grilled to perfection. Got nice little charring marks in there. Really, really juicy. And I can taste that spicy sauce. However, I would prefer it a little bit more saucier than a lot, other, a lot, than a lot of other people get theirs in their takeaway. But that is really, really nice, that is. I'm gonna try it again with this garlic mayo. Bismillah. The chicken is decent. I have had better peri peri chicken places, peri peri chicken in different places, but that is delicious. It is decent, but for me, it's always the rice box. That one is my favorite. I tried the XL burger as well, something different. And um, normally sometimes I do like to go for the wings, but I've got a lot of food there, there's more than enough. Now I'm talking about the price point for Pepe's. This is quite controversial. I think the price point for Pepe's, they do need to look at it. The prices are getting bumped up by the minute. And it, if you're ordering this through Uber Eats, it can get really expensive with the additional charges, etc. I went to my local one in Pepe's and the customer service was fantastic. Really, really good service. This price point for the half chicken, the rice uh, box, the peri peri chips, the XL burger came to just under £25. Wow, that is, in my opinion, extremely, extremely expensive. Pepe's used to be a lot cheaper, but last year with the cost of living, and I don't know what's happened, everything has just been bumped up to mad, mad prices. So for me, it's not something that I'll order regularly now. Um, I like to get good value for money. And as you know, I do prominently in my reviews in Leeds and Bradford, but there is a lot of decent places in Leeds and Bradford. And there is actually a really decent uh, Peri Peri chicken spot in Keithley as well, which I get as well. Um, and I will have to do a review on that soon. And that place is called Roosters. Uh, so keep an eye on that. I'll do a home food review on that. Their chicken is really, really nice. This chicken, it is decent if you're with a family and you wanted to obviously have a bit of a family platter. Yeah, it's something I recommend. It's not the best that I've had, but I do think there is other better places. I like the rice box. Sometimes if I go to a gym sesh, that fuels me up brilliantly. Uh, it's really, really nice. But I just think Pepe is, is just too expensive in my opinion. They, they need to review the cost price, but who am I to say? I'm just a, a guy reviewing in my home as everyone else would. But look, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like the video. And I'm gonna do a little plea here. If you enjoy the if you enjoy the content, we are so close to actually monetization, which I think is really, really important. I don't do my food reviews for getting paid or anything like that. But I think for me personally, we've been doing this now for three years and I just think it'll be a fantastic achievement if we could get to that monetization mark. It just will be, for me, a, uh, it will feel a sense of a big accomplishment. I appreciate everyone's support. 
Um, inshallah, there's going to be some more food reviews coming. Do apologise for the lack of content the last couple of weeks, but I've got some content coming in, inshallah. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like the video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Please share the videos, uh, your favourite videos, to all your friends and the family. I've got about less than 100 hours of watch hours needed to smash that monetization. That will be absolutely huge. And inshallah, if we do, and when we do hit that monetization, uh, I'm sure I'll be keeping an eye on my socials, my Instagram. I'll be doing a little giveaway as well for my subscribers and my followers. So massive thank you for all of your support. That is my Pepe's review. I still got a little bit left as well. Bear in mind, I've got a full chicken and the peri peri chips. I'm gonna tuck into my food, it's a Saturday night, and by the time this review comes out, the big question is, is, is England gonna bring it home? It's your boy Foodie Ants, get your draw buckets ready, I'll see you soon. Bush. That is draw bucket certified.